Continuing coverage tonight, a 19 year old is fighting for his life after a highway shooting. Police say the young man was heading south on 281 when someone in a car pulled up next to him and opened fire. It happened just north of downtown during today's morning rush hour. Investigators believe the shooting could be a random act of violence. New tonight, Ken's Five reporter Hannah Tita shows us how UTSA researchers are tackling the concerning trend. Traffic backed up for miles as emergency crews rushed to save a man's life. A shooting, U.S. Highway 281. Police say a 19 year old was driving on Highway 281 close to downtown this morning when someone in a vehicle pulled up beside him and opened fire. The victim was shot below the waist. According to investigators, he was taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. So it's a trend. Dean DeSoto is the executive director of Community Alliance for Traffic Safety. He's partnered with a group of UTSA researchers led by Dr. Yufang Jin, hoping to curb aggressive driving. Through simulations, they track facial cues and reflexes. How you purse your lips, how you, how you jaw, draw your jaw, which way do you look? A recent report by The Trace shows 94 people were shot on San Antonio streets between 2014 and 2023. That's about 10 people a year. The study also shows nationwide road rage has been going up. These are people who are being hurt and injured by other people. DeSoto says the best way to stop aggressive driving is to put a face to it. That's why he's compiling a panel of victims. He plans to model the aggressive driving campaign after drunk driving and seatbelt messaging that changed laws. We did a lot of that within the schools, PT meetings. We were very, very busy during those years. Now we're looking at this as a national issue. And if you've been injured or impacted by an aggressive driver, the Alliance for Traffic Safety would love to hear from you. Just give them a call at 210-681-8655. And back to today's incident, police say they are investigating this as a random shooting based on information from the victim, but that could change. Reporting in the newsroom, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5.